Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create and set up a Nux.js plugin to build SEO-friendly dynamic URLs. And if you want predictable pricing and an easy-to-use platform in a reliable infrastructure to deploy your applications, definitely check out Linode. There is a link in the description below. Okay, let's get started. Let's quickly review what we've done so far. So I'm going to start the server, npm run dev. We implemented an application consuming the GitHub Shops public API. And what we are doing is we are showing the image and the title. And in the last video, we added the views when we access each of these posts. We're going to see the number of views on each of these posts. And if we enter again, we're going to see two views and so on. But one thing that we have pending is improving the dynamic URLs. If we access the about page, for example, that's fine. So that URL is SEO friendly and that's okay. But what happens if we go to a posting, for example, this one, we're going to see a slash shops, a slash, and an UID, an identifier that is not SEO friendly at all. If we go, for example, to medium.com and they use this approach, they include the title of the post. In this case, the title is the ultimate way to slugify a URL string in JavaScript, and they create the URL, the URI in this case, appending the name of the post and the identifier. This is an approach that Medium is using, for example, but there are some other sites that are using the, the same approach. And this is the approach that we are going to use. We are going to, basically, this is the GitHub Shops API that we are using. So we are going to slagify this uh, title and we are going to append the identifier. We are going to generate the URL that way. And then we are going to extract the identifier so we can access this endpoint to get the details of the specific job. So for example, in this case, let's, yeah, let's use another, a simpler, maybe shorter, this one. So the slugified version of this string would be something like Python hyphen software hyphen engineer hyphen and then after that we are going to append the identifier. So once we access the URL, we need to add some logic to extract the identifier and then consume this endpoint here that requires to, to use the identifier of the posting. So we are going to create first the plugin to slugify the URL to get this URI from this post, for example. So let's do that. One of the folders that comes with the Next.js installation is the plugins folder. So we are going to create a new plugin here in a new file. We are going to call it slugify.js. And here I'm going to actually use an algorithm that I found on this post. So I need to give credit to Matthias Hegman, and I'm going to use his algorithm as part of this plugin. I'm going to paste that here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another function like the 
if I um, post, let's say, where I'm going to receive the identifier and the title of the post. And I'm going to append these two parameters, title plus hyphen plus ID. And I'm going to call the slugify function. So from here, I'm going to return, return, slugify, and this URL. Actually, this is a URI. Yeah, let's say that this is the URI. And now, if I want to use this slugify post function, I need to add it to the view prototype. So I need to import view, import view from view. And I need to access the prototype of view to be able to access this function from within a method of a page, for example. So view that prototype that, let's call it slugify, slugify. Sorry, I need to use dollar sign here, dollar sign slugify equals slugify post. So this is the function that I'm going to use from the index page to generate the URLs appending the title, the slugified title with the uh, identifier. But first, what I need to do is I need to go to the next config file and I need to add the plugin here. Slash plugins slash slugify. Okay, I'm going to restart the server so we are able to access that plugin. And what this slugify function is doing is going to replace all the spaces by with a hyphen. It's going to replace all the special characters. It's going to replace and ampersand with the and word. It's going to remove all the non-word characters. It's going to replace hyphen, multiple hyphen with a single hyphen. It's going to trim hyphen from start to, of text, and it's going to trim hyphen at the end of the text. Okay, now let's go to the pages, and let's go to the index page. That is actually this one, where we are showing all the shop posts. And here, what we need to do is change this next link so we can use not just the shop identifier, like here, like this, but like this, right? With the slugify version of the title plus the identifier. So let's do that. So I'm going to create a method here at the end using the methods attribute, methods, and I'm going to create a method called build URL. And I'm going to receive a job. And I'm going to return slash shops slash plus. And I'm going to append to this shops string, the slugified version of the URI. So here I'm going to access the actual plugin that we just created using this, that dollar sign, slugify, that 
and sorry and here we pass the title sorry the identifier and let me check really quick yes the identifier and the title shop that id and shop that title and here we need to use that function here build url and we need to pass the job and the same here for the, the views when we pass the views we need to pass the new url it's like this let's save this and let's see what happens okay and now if we access any of these posts we're gonna see that we get the slugified version of the URI with the title, the slugified version of the title plus hyphen plus the identifier of the post. So now what we need to do is we need to extract the identifier from the URI and call the GitHub API to get the shop description. Okay, now let's change the this page actually to extract the identifier from the URI. So here in the async data function, what we need to do instead of passing the this params that ID, that is this part of the URI. We're going to remove this and we're going to call this URI. We're going to define the variable here. Const URI. That's going to be parents that ID. And here we need to extract the identifier const id equals and here we need to create a function to extract the identifier from the uri i'm going to create a utils library i'm going to create a folder let's call it utils and i'm going to create a new file let's call it url utils and here i'm going to create a really simple function that is going to receive the URI, including the slidified version of the title plus the identifier, and I'm going to return just the uh, identifier. So let's do that. Const u URL utils, and here I'm going to find the function that is going to be extract. ID and here I'm going to receive the URI and here I'm going to return the substring that is going to give me the identifier of the post URI dot substring And here is going to be the length of the URI minus 36. That is the length of the identifier. And that's pretty much all we need. Yeah, there is an error here on the file name. Yeah, this is OK. And here I'm going to export default URL utils. Okay. So I'm going to use this function here. URL first, I need to import that. So I'm going to import that here. Import 
URL details from utils slash URL utils. And I need to use that function here. So URL utils that extract ID and I'm going to pass the URI. Okay, I'm going to fix this. And new line, okay, yeah, here. And that should be it. Okay. And let's refresh this. And now we should be able to access, uh, sorry, identifier, ID, and what I mean, ah, ID. So here I need to pass the ID, not the URI, ID. Okay. Let's close this. Let's go back. And now if I access, I get access to this shop posting. So now we are extracting the identifier and we are calling the GitHub API from here. Okay. So let's go back to home. And here what is missing is the views. So I forgot to add that. And I, am I passing the views? Yes, I'm passing the views here. And I should have this property. Okay. I'm going to define that property really quickly. It's actually a number. And I'm going to append that to the title of the position. I'm going to add that here. And I'm going to add here views equals views to refresh. Okay. And let's go back. And if I go, if I enter again, I don't see the views because I guess I'm not passing. Yeah, what I need to do here is actually I need to change this identifier. What I need to do here is I need to pass the path of the route because that's what we are using to track the views on the page. So I need to access using dollar sign, I need to access the route, that path. And that should be it. Yeah. Okay, if I go back, and if I enter again, I should get five. Okay. And if I access this one, that is pretty long. Yeah, it generates the slugified version of the URL correctly, and we get one view. And if we go back, we're gonna see the same number of views. If we enter again, you're gonna see two. So, so everything is working as we expect. Okay, guys, this is all I have for today. Remember to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. And I see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.